speak pollution free again. The Honourable Member for Saskatoon West. Madam Speaker, Canada's post targeting of vulnerable postal workers is shameful. First, they cut off short term disability payments, then long term disability payments, then they went after people's maternity leave benefits. This is a morally bankrupt tactic by Canada Post, and so far the government has chosen to be complicit. Cutting benefits is not good faith collective bargaining. What is this government doing to stop this brutal assault on workers' rights and encourage Canada Post to bargain in good faith? The Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for her question so I can clarify. We understand absolutely the impact the work disruption is having on employees and their families. That's why our government has been encouraging both sides to reach a fair agreement as soon as possible. Unfortunately, when a strike occurs, the expiry of collective agreement affects some of the benefits of Canada Post employees, but not all. And I'll give you an example. Prescription drug, for example, will continue for our employees. And I can assure this House that, in fact, employees will maintain full access to their EI benefits, which includes maternity and parental benefits. And Canada Post has put in place uh, a request for a compassionate ground exception to this, and they're taking those requests seriously and addressing them very quickly. Thank you. The